Okay, so I want to try to make this video while I'm on my lunch break. Um, I wanted to um, say, number one, that I'm very grateful to my phone. My phone has been very kind to me. It has been uploading videos at a rather um, decent rate today. I mean, usually it takes hours and sometimes days, you know, and today it uploaded two videos pretty quickly. So I'm going to see if it does that one too. Um, it does the same one. Same thing for this one as well. Now, I did write Laura Hill a message, you know, and I'm not trying to come off as condescending. I just need to be as direct as possible because I need to get on with my life, okay? And um, I'm tired of, like, the mental blocks and the wondering, okay, I'm, I, I, don't, I shouldn't have to fear a job search. That is ridiculous. I shouldn't have to be afraid of it. I shouldn't have to be scared. I shouldn't have to be depressed. I shouldn't have to go into a place intimidated. So I did send her a letter today, you know, and I'm not trying to be offensive in any means. I need to clear this shit up and do it as fast as possible because I need to get on with my life. Um, you know, um, I'm eager to get on and move on and not have to see Peggy anymore. And I want to be able to go to a job. Right now, I have to say, I'm not really perturbed at work. I mean, the work is boring. Yeah, it is. Is it stimulating? No. I'm stimulated. I, I want to do different things. I feel like this huge need to take on like the like serious work things. I mean, that's just how I am. And um, or do some organizing or some structuring, you know. And my mind's just all that's just what I do. I, I have a very uh, a mind that likes to do that stuff. And I get very bored, very antsy, and even depressed if I can't do that. Don't expect other people to understand. You know, and I get really irritated when people, you know, try to say, well, I don't you think you just do things like that too much? But you think that's not healthy? You get, each person has to decide what's healthy for them, you know? And if that's my thing, that's my thing. So I want to go back to work and do something exciting because I'm really unhappy right now. But I am grateful to have a job, okay? Now, um, I, like I said, I need to do the final purge. I got to get Piggy out of my life. And I'm trying to get other people who I believe may have something to do with this, um you know, to cooperate, because like I said, there, I, I don't have anything to, um, to feel guilty about, I didn't do anything, this is some weird shit, you know, I got Polly and Piggy and all these crazy people, my sister, and there are people I need to just get out of my life and, and just be done with, you know, and, and that's what it's all about, you know what I mean, uh, and I encourage all the other targets to take pretty much the same, uh, same pathway. Because um, this is, you know, I don't need to go into how serious it is. If you if you can't understand, um, think about it this way. Think about um, you go to work and your life falls apart because you're being harassed over whatever reason, okay? And you, you were doing a very good job. You didn't do anything wrong. And then everybody outside of the uh, work, at work, starts to treat you like shit. Um, you get demoral, everything is demoralizing at work. Um, you're treated poorly by the people around you. And then you, it goes out into the community and then the community treats you like shit and they don't even know anything about you, but they're just doing it. Okay. They make your life very difficult. They call you, they harass you and you don't even know what's going on. Okay. And then you, everywhere you go, people are doing this to you and you don't know what's going on. Okay. And it goes and you can't get away from it. So that means if you were to jump and get in your car and, and drive to New Mexico, it's going to be there, okay? It's this sort of stuff that that kills people off, okay? Because there's nowhere you can run and nowhere you can hide. So once you understand how severe this issue is, you can understand the, the kind of stress a person goes through and why they don't, they don't, they lose sleep, why they have a certain amount of nervousness, extreme depression, so on and so forth. So it is a very serious issue and this is one I personally think that a lot of employers are not paying enough attention to, and they should, okay? Because obviously, like I said, there's guidelines, there's there's um, policies, procedures, laws that they're supposed to adhere to, and now I'm showing you why. This is the this is the reason why. So for people who have that attitude, well, you know, this is my business. We can do things our way, and I don't see the point of it. She's making a big deal. Well, what's the big deal? You know, or they think it's unrealistic to try to keep confidential information. Some people really think, well, we we work in an office. I mean, we talk, we get together. You know, um, but you know what? For the people who are in the higher level management and whatever, they still need to keep their mouth shut about certain things. Okay, they just have to, and. Um, 
And if they don't, this is this is a result of it. Okay, P people's private confidential information is not supposed to be aired out everywhere, and definitely stay away from rumors. I mean, and rumors can destroy people. And and you know, I know a lot of people are into using you know social media sites to try to you know see if they like the candidate or not. You know. Um, and I'm not saying it's 100% bullshit. I mean, like I said, you know, um, I guess you can know certain things about a person, but a lot of the things that people are getting dinged for, it just doesn't make any sense. And what I got dinged for, that wasn't even my own action. I was just sitting there on Facebook, and people were making up shit or making assumptions up, and I was basically judged on the gossip that was swirling around me. Because my participation on Facebook was very, very small. I rarely ever said anything on Facebook. Um, you know, which is kind of a reflection of how things were when I was growing up. It was like, you know, I wasn't the most popular person, so you you can't expect me to be the most popular person on Facebook. So, uh, unless, of course, you know, you have a major gossip um, smear campaign, which I'm a bit. So, um, no, I don't. I don't think it's a good idea um, to, to, to use that in employment. I just don't. And, um, um, so, so that's my issue. And so today I, I kind of wanted to get that clear. There's just a lot. I When I contact somebody that I used to know, I'm not trying to stir up trouble. I'm trying to get this shit taken care of. Because I am suffering re foolishly for nothing. You know, and I'm sorry, but whatever issue, you know, Piggy and I had, you know, between me and him, that's between he and I, okay? And like I said, that there's certain um, legal proceedings that, he and I should have taken, which is a divorce, okay? If that's an issue, then you get a divorce. I mean, that's it. Once you get a divorce, I mean, that's the end of the dis discussion. You don't, a woman doesn't get demoted. She doesn't have, um, doesn't affect her, you know, a long time ago. That's one of the reasons why they made laws, you know. I know back in, like, um, you know, the old days, a lot of people held a lot of things against people. And the people, as they supposedly progressed, you know, they realize, okay, this is like barbaric or it's inhumane or it's wrong or whatever. And they made these laws to correct it. And they write it into the laws and it gets handed down to, you know, people in the workplace or whatever. And they're supposed to adhere to it for those reasons because they realize they made a mistake. Or they see that this is a possible error and it, and it causes a hardship on a person. So that's why we follow these laws. And I'm, I'm, a, I'm, I'm a stickler for it. Now... I'm not saying that I'm a goody two shoes and I think everything should just be, you know, you should ignore, oh, let's see, let me close this door, um, that you have to be like little miss goody two shoes all the time and you're like a, 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 what do you call it, stick in the mud or anything like that. Because believe me, I'm a, I'm a very funny, witty, and, and I'm not saying this to be, you know, I, I am. I'm a, I'm a great person to get along with. I mean, really. I mean, I, I have a great sense of humor. Um, um, yeah, I have a really good sense of humor. I know how to have fun. You know, I don't think there's really, I mean, when I'm at home, I, I get a little melancholic because, you know, I'm depressed about my work and everything about, you know, finding something that's, I need to be stimulated. I need to be stimulated a lot. Okay. I like, um, I like, you know, certain projects and stuff like that. And, um, and I get excited by them, you know, I do. And I haven't done anything exciting or, or anything that's been, you know, um, interesting to me in a very long time, at least not in an environment that I've enjoyed, you know, for a very, very, very long time. And that makes me sad because I have to be active. Just like, you know, some old people who are used to doing certain things, um, a lot, you know, like maybe an old man is used to, um, going for a walk every morning, or maybe he's used to going hunting and fishing every morning. And then his wife's like, you know, you need to stop that. And then the minute that stops his life, is. I mean, like, there's nothing else to live for, you know? What, what else do you do? And, um, and that's what it is with me. It's like I have to have something constant going. I like to have movement in my life, and there's nothing moving. Um, not in this kind of work, you know? And, um, you know, and the thing is, is that, um, that's just how I am, you know? And so when you, when you look for work that, it's supposed to be good for you. Hang on a second. What time is it? Ugh. 
when you think about looking for work that's supposed to be good for you or a good fit for you, these are the sort of things you're supposed to take in consideration. And that's and none of that was taken in consideration. I think it's just like here, we'll just get you a job. We'll get you a job, and then you know that, that's why. That's why. You know what I mean? I think. I just wish in my ideal world, you know, everybody would know the, the purpose and the meaning of their um, their jobs and what they're supposed to do and add their personal spark to it and everybody would be happy in their work and they would be looking forward to going to work every day. Because I've, I've had jobs where I just literally wanted to cry going there. Like seriously, I felt that way at VIPO. I hated that job. I hated it so bad. It was horrible. And um, you know, and there were been jobs where I couldn't look, I looked forward to going to work. Like, you know, I'd get, I, in, at night, you know, I would hurry up, get myself ready, know I'm going to go to work tomorrow, I'm getting excited, you know, and, um, and then, um, getting my papers all together, you know, and that's, for some people, that's like, well, why are you like that? That's just how I am, you know, and you got to understand that there's a lot of things that I missed out in life, you know, I didn't have a lot of the things that other people had, you know, I, I missed out on a lot of things, and so, this is my thing. It's what I enjoy. It's what I enjoy doing. And of course, I want to, I do. I, I do want to merge together with other people and do community type projects. Unfortunately, um, um, you know, it is very difficult to find people that you can trust. And, um, whoops. Find people that you can trust, you know. I, I don't want to deal with immature people. I don't want to deal with perps. I don't want to deal with, um, people who don't know what they're talking about, you know, or whatever. I take whatever it is I do very seriously, and, um, I mean, yeah, I'm a goofy person. I mean, I haven't shown that side of myself in a long time, but, because this is the most serious thing that I've ever had to deal with, and that is not a, that is not a lie, and not an exaggeration. I will tell you that being gang stalked, being mobbed, losing your jobs, having gaps in my employment has been a tremendous stress on me, one of the most depressing situations I have ever been in, and it has really caused me, um, a lot, more pain, more pain than I could ever describe, it has been ab an absolute nightmare for somebody to make that decision for me, and I have lost faith in people, and, um, I don't, I have cut off all my connections, which means I've cut them off. I am very, I'm quite reluctant to develop new relationships. Um, you know, it has prevented me from having a social life. It has prevented me from, you know, my goals. Like, do you, do I feel motivated to, to do anything? Because I'm thinking, okay, well, what, what's going to happen? Do, do I still have my, you know, am I still going to be able to do in my goals? Am I going to be able to do my thing? Or what's going on? I mean, the whole thing was like, a, it, it's been horrible, horrible. You know, and it's all unnecessary because these people shouldn't have been involved in the first place. Now, when it comes to, like, Piggy and Polly, hey, you know what? I'm not proud of the fact that I married somebody um, and I lied to that, that person. I mean, I'm not happy about that, but we all make mistakes, okay? And I'm not trying to minimize it by any means, okay? But at the same time, um, how did that hurt him? How did it hurt him? It didn't hurt him, you know? Um, now... If he was unhappy with it, he could have said, you know what, let's get a divorce. I would have been like, okay with it, you know, I mean, whatever, but you don't handle things. And a lot of men do this to their wives. Like, some women will, um, I don't know, um, a woman will get a divorce, she'll want to get a divorce from her husband for whatever reason. And it doesn't matter what the reason is. You know, other people need to stay out of it. That's not how you do things. And, I don't know, I'm just, I'm hoping for a better world. I'm hoping things get better in this world. Um, over this issue. 
before I would ever let that happen. I don't want that to happen. Don't want it to happen. I don't want to ever rely on my son. I visualize myself growing old and happy. Now, if I have another life partner in, in, in my future, you know, I don't see it. But if I do, um, you know what? I will find him. How about that? If I find something that I like, I'll walk up to him and, and I'll introduce myself. Only because I'm not going to sit here and deal with a bunch of fucking perps. If I want somebody, I will go to see him and I will uh, make I will make the first move. Is that bold? Um, for some people, because, you know, some people, you know, grew up very traditional. And, and ideally, I guess it's more romantic that way. But you know what? I'm a perp and I don't want anybody, I don't want anybody messing with me. So I, I need to make sure that, number one, this person's not going to ask anything of me. He's not going to be abusive. He's not going to do anything. So I need to take control of that. And I will. Okay? When, if and when it's my time. And until then, you know, I need, I need to take care of myself. And that's the problem. You get a lot of people who they think they know what's best for you, and they don't. They don't. Okay? What you're opening me up to is all kinds of abuse. And that's exactly what it is. There's a lot of men who would probably look at me as nothing more than a commodity. Seriously. Okay? Why, why put myself in that situation? I don't want to put myself in that situation. You know what I mean? I want to be safe. And that's the, that's what I'm obsessed about. That's what I've been breaking down in tears and crying for. I don't feel safe. I don't. You know? And I'm angry that these people left me wide open for further abuse. You know? That's what bothers me. So anyway, I'm going to wrap up this video. I hope you all have a wonderful day. I may be back with another one. Um, my phone's doing pretty good today. So I will talk to you later. Have a great day. Bye-bye.